with some people. I'm gonna be on my own today playing some uh, this game. It's a really fun game called Bloons Tower Defense uh, Battles 2. It's it's a it's a mouthful. It's a blast though. It's a tower defense game with monkeys and balloons, and I enjoy it a lot. Um, we're just gonna be playing. Hopefully, uh, I can still be considered funny when I'm on my own. And I hope none of this music's copyrighted, because I don't exactly have a, have a license for it, but it's probably fine. So, this is my first time doing content on my own, as I'm sure people will notice the past four, or I guess, I can do math, the past eight videos have been with the same group of friends, because I enjoy, I've, I've always wanted to do content creation, and it's, it's a lot of fun for me, and people... A few people in my life have said I'm funny. I bet if I and like people have told me I'm funny and like been like, hey, if you if you recorded yourself, people would find you hilarious. And I really hope they mean that and not try to make me feel better. <laughs> so, you know. Can't always get everyone on at the same time, but sometimes just I just want to record something because it's fun. So I hope will enjoy just me though I'm not sure how funny I can end up being when it's just myself and I don't have people's jokes to rip off of but that's the thing that's something that's, I think that helps my humor a lot is like if I have someone else talking to me I can like ramp off of what they're saying like improv like yes and like ah that's so funny but also it's a lot of fun for me uh, so, if I'm awkwardly quiet, it's because I've never done content on my own before. Uh, <laughs> so, I guess I'll just, I, I mean, I don't need to be funny. I can just talk about the game. I mean, I'm sure. That's one thing I've noticed. It's impossible to be funny if you're trying to be funny. You can I just, at least for me, I can't do it. If I try to be funny, all of my humor goes out the window. I can't be funny. I, okay, I'm losing. Uh, so, uh, I should probably explain this. That'd be a good idea. So this game, it's uh, I mean, it's I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just a tower defense game with monkeys. They look funny. Uh, and the main, obviously, the main enemy are balloons. Basically, the goal of this game is uh, you make money. Every once in a while, whenever this little coin fills up, you make this green amount of money. And you can make more money by uh, sending balloons at the other person. Like, for instance, if you see these skulls that have, or these, these balloons that have skulls on them are from my enemy. So he's making lots of money while I'm dying because I'm bad at this game. Uh... <laughs> and yeah just a fun pleasant game uh you, obviously you don't want to drop to zero lives that's what makes you lose and i think the gameplay's mostly pretty self-explanatory um uh, don't die try to kill your opponent that's pretty much it there's some special gimmicks like you see if, uh, they're not popping up too qu too quick but these purple blooms with the blue outlines are kind of special. They can't die to anything that's considered like magic, which is very, very situational. But like this wizard, obviously, is magic. Like, stuff like that. There's small quirks to this game. But I think overall, it's one of the only, one of the few games that's like fun to actually visually look at, in my opinion. I think it's fun to look at. Other people may not agree with me, but I think it's fun to look at. Uh, and I might be dead. I think I'm dead. Eh, that's alright. Didn't exactly know what I was doing anyways. Um, alright. Well, I guess I'm a loser. 
but that's okay. Fun to just play games. Um, you know what? If I'm talking, I, I mean, if I'm not taking it seriously, I should probably be playing casual, not ranked. Uh, uh, I'll do that. And yeah, you can you can only bring uh three monkeys with you, and then you can bring like they're called heroes. They're like a special monkey you can only place one of, and then you can choose three from all these different ones. And they're they're all super different. Like this pirate ship and these submarine can only be placed in little water areas, and like there's. Monkeys that are flying, and it's, it's pretty cool. So, yep. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, I'm warned. I'm not good at solo content. Not yet, at least. I practice, I I'll get pretty good at it. But, why am I... I don't know. I'm being sentimental for like no reason. It is strange. It's what happens. I used to do Twitch streaming for a little bit. And then I got really tired of it. Because you have to sit there in front behind a computer for three straight hours. Or else you won't get a following. <laughs> and that was almost always one on one content. I mean, like the. I mean, sure, I had good friends, but outside the summer. I couldn't get people to be online with me for that long. Because, I mean, you know, even if it's the summer, like, people still have jobs and whatnot. I mean, I have a job. I, I have two jobs. One... One's, like, more of a freestyle thing that I only have to do two days a week, and it's short hours. And the other one is... Like the main job, the one that I actually go often to. Um, but I get off at five most days, so it's a good time to make content. But I just, man, I don't know something about, I've never liked long form content. I, it's maybe it's a short attention span, I don't know. I just, I just don't like, like if I'm going to watch something that's, not a movie and it's like more than an hour long i normally i have to watch it in multiple sittings just because sometimes i most of the time i don't have that much time on my hands but and then with with i, I did kind of like twitch streaming the main thing that i didn't like about it was how much how hard of a how hard you, goodness gracious how active you had to be to get a following and like I have probably like three, two to three hours a day, and that's like, sure, I can make a YouTube video or two a day, and it'll be great, but like, I can't, I can't stream five hours a day every day and hope to get that lucky break on Twitch, which, you know, I've had a couple friends that have done Twitch streaming, that's pretty much how, what happened is they had to stream and stream and stream until eventually they get, got a few people. And then if it keeps streaming, it'll be super active. Just I just can't do that. <laughs> it was exhausting. And only ever got like two followers that weren't friends of mine, so But with YouTube I can make, you know, one or two videos a day and have fun with them and not really worry too much about being drained because like I can just make extra videos one day and take a day off. So, and you know. And of course, YouTube isn't guaranteed to work out, so. But it's something I think could be very enjoyable, and I'm getting wrecked. I'm okay. Well, I'm really getting wrecked. <laughs> I should be paying more attention to my video game. <laughs> uh, 
Man, I'm playing casual. I'm getting wrecked. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, I just hope my humor is actually funny to some people enough to gain a small following in. I want to make it be fun to make people laugh. Or I don't really care too much about the money. I just would rather give people enjoyment in their life and be great. But, you know, first I gotta put quite a bit of time and effort into it to get that following and then gotta keep doing it, but, you know. I think it could be a fun journey. Just have to wait and see. So, you know, if you get here early and you decide, hey, this guy's kind of funny, you know, maybe maybe throw a subscription my way, you know, maybe, maybe I'll end up being actually funny. Or maybe I am funny, but only when I'm with friends and whatnot, you know. Is this man throwing camel prunes at me? That's like the classic, I mean, it's, if you play an entire defense game, you know, there's always that one type that, like, you need special upgrades to see, like, camo or hidden or whatever. I've always found them kind of an annoying trope in power defense games, but also like, I feel like at this point, it's status quo. Like, if you don't do it, people are like, yeah, this isn't a real power defense game. Also, I just realized how strange my channel must look. <laughs> I upload four videos in a row of a, of a stick game five videos in a row that are completely different from them so you know <laughs> we'll just we'll set to see how it goes oh well i was tabbed at, i'm really should be paying more attention to the game shouldn't i you don't have a conduct kind of Play the game and also be good at it. I really don't know. Um, we got time for one more game. Let's go. Um, let's do ranked. Might I'm gonna try and win this one for for gaming reasons. So if I go completely silent, uh, so I concentrate and I'm sorry. Here we go. If anyone plays blue in this game and then looks at my load, they're going to be like, what in the world is he doing? I, I'm normally good at this video. I'm, I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm normally okay at this game. But, I don't know. Whenever I start talking, I instantly become worse. It's probably just because, like, I have to split my attention. I'm not good at that. I'm okay at multitasking, but I'm not. I'm, I will admit, I'm not. <laughs> tell I'm always one thing I've always I wanted to tell stories. I don't know. Of course, this is I want to. All of them are. All of the stories I could think of are gone. Um, let me think of some funny stories. Let me, let me cook something up in the heater real quick. Probably what I do is I tell my stories to somebody and then I just forget them. And I'm like, yeah, I got one laugh out of it. <laughs> That's all I need. Oh, let's think of a story here. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, that's a good one. So, personally, I've never broken a bone. I've ne I've come close a couple times, and then there's definitely some times I should have broken a bone. But I've never actually broken a bone before. But there was this one time, uh, I went to this, I don't know what to call it. I guess it was just like a summer camp? I'm not sure what it was. It was down in Alpine, Texas, in this little city that's 
Alpine's a city in Texas that's like surrounded by mountains, so it's in, it looks like it's in this big bowl of earth. It's a pretty cool place, honestly, but it's really hard to get in because the, the mountains. Uh, anyways, uh, so my aunt took us to this place, right? And she, uh, and it was, it was, it was a really fun time. They, like, split us all up into grades, and it was, like, a five-day camp, and they split us up into, like, into, like, sixth grade, fifth grade, fourth grade, or whatever, and I was in third grade, and we, at the very beginning of the camp, we got to choose, like, our team name all together, and so the third grade ended up being something like with minions and we all wore like yellow bandanas and like always had like a banana in our pocket or something i think a kid got sick off of eating his uh it was, it was a fun time back in my youth where i didn't get sick as often um uh, <laughs> uh, and like my uh, one of my sisters was like in the fifth or sixth grade like the cool kid grade and their team was like red lightning, like something really cool. And like, um, we were also all supposed to make like team themes. And then every morning we performed them for like all of the kids. Like every morning we met at this trailer with the camp director. And then all the grades would like line up at these benches and then sit down and listen to the camp director talk about something. And so. Every morning we had to perform our our little little kid theme, and I remember my my older sister and the cool kids Red Lightning. They like they did the a version of We Will Rock You, but they changed the lyrics to have stuff to do with thunder and lightning and all this cool stuff. And then I remember the our 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 theme was um, I don't know if anyone just I don't know if y'all have ever seen this. But it's like a video of like four minions. I think it was like a, I think it was like a bonus with um like this people it was one of the it was like a bonus with one of the despicable me's. I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm sad. It was it was one of the it was like one of the shorts that played after one of the despicable me movies. And it was like of these four minions singing this song together. And they had um they were, they were singing this song in their native language, or whatever they call it, Minionese, and one of them had one of those party blower things that's, like, made of paper. So whenever you blow in, like, the plastic cone, like, it, you know, it extends, unfurls, and makes a funny noise. And, and it was just, you know, classic Minion shenanigans, and, like, one of the Minions kept hitting another one with his... With his little paper thing and got really annoyed anyways we ended up making that our theme and like singing that the entire way through and i don't remember who it was but instead of that little paper party party favor some kid just had a stick and would just whack another kid like in the face with it and that was just part of our theme that's just what we did and i don't i don't think anyone got in trouble for it I don't think there's any repercussions for it, but it was it was it was an interesting time. Anyways, uh, I'm completely off topic. Um, so I almost broke a bone because in at this camp, there was this like I think I think it was a 25 foot tall rock, uh, um, and it was shaped like a face, and it had all these landmarks in it, mostly to do with the devil, so I have, like devil's kitchen and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> this was an interesting camp, and, um, I, my uncle was watching me, and I was just at the top having fun, and then some kid came up behind me and pushed me off of the very top of this rock, with my uncle watching, mortified, but what happened is I landed on the ground and then just, and started rolling immediately, not, like, I didn't go for the roll. It was completely, completely coincidence. I just started rolling. I mean, it's probably just how I hit the ground. I'm not sure. But 
that saved me from having a broken bone. I I remember as a kid, I always claimed I sprained my wrist, but I think I, I think I was completely fine, and it just hurt. But I probably definitely should have gotten a. I definitely I definitely should have. <laughs> um, I'm the broken bone from that. I deserve to. And then I remember. I remember for some reason we stayed in like the the employees' cabin. Me and my uncle, at least, we stayed in like with the employees. And as a little kid, like they all fawned over me for this, you know, big wound I had, and I laundered it all the time and general kid stuff. <laughs> But I remember, uh, it was, so it was a six day camp, but we only stayed there for like three days because I claimed I was feeling really sick. And so my aunt took us to one of the hotels in the same city. We just stayed there for the other three days. And I don't remember at all what we did in the city. I just remember the hotel, it being pretty nice. That's all I remember. I don't even remember being there for more than one day, but apparently we were. And that's all. I do remember one one other thing about this camp. The only other, or one of the only other things I remember was um, so a big thing at this camp were they had snow cones. It was it was the, oh that was wrong with Craig. They they sold these snow cones out of the back of that same trailer that all the kids would uh that we'd all gather around in around every morning. They. They always sold these snow cones out of it, and every day, they had a secret flavor, and if you guessed this, the secret flavor of the day, you got a free snow cone, and so I remember making friends with this other kid, and he, he we would all, almost, I think we only didn't get it one day, and that's because my aunt didn't have enough money to buy me a snow cone, to, to try the secret snow cone flavor. Um, and I remember, like, as, as a kid, and even kind of now, I hate pickles, but I remember <laughs> almost every time we went to guess the flavor, it was pickles, and I don't know why, I don't know why whoever sold all these snow guns had an obsession with the flavor, with the pickle flavor, it was very strange, but... I just remember that very vividly, but you know, every morning at the at the trailers, uh, whenever we talked to the camp counselor, another thing was he there was this bird call you could do with if you put both your hands a certain way and whistled in a certain or not whistled but like blew in them a certain way, it would sound like a specific bird call, and it was really hard, and so. He made a rule like if anyone could do it and show him and like prove it to him then they would get a free a free snow cone but like so like every morning he'd like say so has anyone learned how to do that that call yeah and you know there's a few kids who did it the overachievers and whatnot but um i have my just the same sister who was in the cool grade she she learned how to do it and i was really jealous as a kid but i couldn't yeah, I could not figure out how to do it. So instead of learning from an adult, I just lied and said I knew how. And but instead of so when the day of reckoning came, instead of like blowing blowing and all this stuff, I instead just whistled it and then made it with like I don't know, with my hands I made it look like I was doing it correctly. And I don't think anyone fell for it, but the camp director guy still let me have a free snow cone probably out of pity and then my sister was like really mad because she had to try really hard to learn this and i didn't try at all and it was it was, it was interesting it was a fun times i was i was a rascal uh, let me see i don't i don't know if i have any other stories about Ooh, okay now there is this is small so one thing about texas Lots of dust down here. Lots of dust. Uh, all the time. So, one thing is that when we were driving up, there was a huge dust storm, but it pretty abruptly stopped. 
So whenever we were driving along, uh, we saw this just huge wall of dust directly in front of us. We couldn't, I mean, we, we had to drive into it. It was, it was a two lane road because it was out in the middle of nowhere road, you know, in between two cities. But it, it was just the most bizarre thing because, yeah, <laughs> it was, it was, it was a sudden start and a very sudden end. And it was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Uh, let me think. <laughs> and here's where I forget how to talk. Um, oh yeah, I remember one from my childhood, uh, completely off topic. I, I always really wanted, like, those types um, y'all know, like, the, if, if y'all know the type of, like, 3DS that folded, I really wanted specifically the one that folded. Not for any particular reason, except for the fact that it folded. That's all I wanted it for, because I thought the folding was cool. And my parents, uh, so they, they, they live in Nintendo cells, is they sell basically the same thing, but it doesn't fold. It, it's, it's, like, a bit different, like, the... The bottom is like a 2DS screen, the top's a 3DS screen. That might be how normal 3DSs work. I've never had one. But, like, so this thing was that. Yeah, it had 2DS screen on the bottom, 3DS screen on top, and it did not fold. That was important. That was why, one of the reasons it was much cheaper is it did not fold at all. I was really mad about this, but it worked just fine. But I remember I, I used it all the time because, like, I didn't have a phone for a while and all this. But I love playing games. But I remember for the longest time, longest, longest time, I, the only thing I wanted for like Christmas or birthdays was there was this three, foldable 3DS and it looked like a Pokeball. It, it was like still that, like that rectangle, like that squished rectangle, but it, it was a Pokeball. <laughs> and I really wanted it. I really, really did. Um... I don't know why, I just really didn't, and that's all I asked for, for like, three birthdays, three Christmases, I never got it, and I, every time I had a bunch of money saved up, I was like, I'm gonna buy it, and then my parents would be like, that's a waste of money, you already have one, don't do that, you'll appreciate it later, and like, I do now, but I mean, also still would be really cool to have, but like, also nowadays, like, there's very little to play on 3DS, but I mean, like, it's totally a lot of fun. But I remember, I kind of the only things I ever played on my DS were uh, were Pokemon games and Mario Kart Seven. So all I played on that were was Pokemon X, Pokemon X. Then I got Pokemon Sun and then Pokemon Ultra Moon, and uh, I and then um uh, and then I, I played Mario Kart Seven. That's all I played. But I remember I couldn't use the DS a lot of the times because, like, you needed the stylus for most of the games besides Mario Kart. You needed, you, you like, absolutely needed the stylus, but it was so easy to lose. It, it was, it was pathetically easy to lose. So, so often I couldn't even use it because I didn't have my little stylus. And I'm surprised how often we found it. I'm so, it, I feel like it should have been lost like the first couple times, but we kept finding it over and over. I'm thankful we did because it was such a, it was really fun to play on. I just, I don't know how we kept finding it. Finding it, it definitely should have been lost. But what am I gonna lose? Oh, I lose. All right. Well, that's okay. I was running out of stories, or rather. Running out of stories that come directly to mind. Well, that's my silly little video for today. Oh, for 30 minutes. Hope people click on this. Not to be a shill or anything. But, um, yeah. I appreciate y'all for watching my silly little videos. And I hope I can make them for a while. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let me know what you think.
if you have game suggestions or things like you must play this you silly little influencer <laughs> just let me know all right have a great day